Hello guys, welcome in. Today I'll be playing Nightstones. This game is currently being developed by a developer on YouTube named Advance9. I came across his channel a few months ago and caught my attention. I'm personally into game development, I do a little bit of stuff on my own. So, I started following along, found out recently that he had a demo of his game on Steam. So I decided to give it a go. I used to do this playthrough series and I deleted some of the old videos and I have a couple of newer ones where I would try out different indie games that I would come across on like itch.io and stuff so this will probably fall kind of into that category but yeah I'm pretty excited to try it out it looks interesting it looks very well made I do love the sounds that I've seen from videos and uh, the art style and everything so it kind of reminds me of like a switch game let's jump into it it started for like a moment, but ended up restarting the video, so that's why the continue is there. But, um... Yeah, so this area right here, like, looks really cool. Very simple, but... Very fitting. Like I mentioned, it definitely reminds me of, like, a Switch game. This, uh, sound effect of the text coming in reminds me of Animal Crossing. And I think that's also a lot of the visual style of this... Seems to remind me a bit of that as well. Yeah, you can't go wrong with having a dog in the game, so... Name is Lady. It's a cute doggo. So I'm not sure how long the demo is, so maybe it'll be one part, maybe it'll be multiple parts. I'm not sure what I want to do yet, but definitely want to try it out. And hey, if it's interesting and I like it, I'll definitely wishlist it and look forward to uh, seeing its release. Either way, I'll probably continue following along with the journey because, like I mentioned, I love game dev, so... Okay, so that's like something big is about to happen. I'd be surprised if I saw an owl that talks. I laid hollow to turn that far from here. Goodbye for now, traveler. Okay. Let's see what. Controls are pretty standard. Move around, jump. If I recall, you can't attack enemies in this. I remember seeing and in, in uh, game dev, I know I think he mentioned he added a couple things for dealing with enemies. If I think based on some feedback that he had, but Let's so explore a little bit, see what's around. I swim in this water. So I'm not sure which part of the game that it's in, but like, I think from the la from the latest video that I saw, it mentioned where the 
water ch or uh, music change when swimming versus being stationary. Might be in a different part of the game though. You know, test it out though, just in case. You can use that boat, it looks like. That might be what I need to do, but check this area out as well. Let me design. Yes, we can. Twilight Hollow, Knights. Okay, so we gotta go forward actually. Rockwell's Cave. Okay, yeah, so there's no bridge here right now, right? Gotta go. Let me check out. If there's any coins down here. Does it look like it? Since the camera is, like, kind of locked in, in sort of one view, I'd like that you can... See the character like this. I don't know if it's. I don't know if it would be better to have like more of a simple outline or not. I'm not really sure. It's kind of hard to say because it. It's fitting, but at the same time, it's almost like. Overwhelming. I don't know. Not really too big of a deal. I don't think though. Back to our sign and see where the nightstone's at. The nightstone's west. Yep. What's this guy doing? Climbing around. Interesting concept. So yeah, this is where I need a key for, okay. I guess the next step would be to find the key. Let's go back to the sign. Maybe we gotta go in the a, in a east. Maybe Oracle's Cave will have a silver key. Worth a try. This probably be more this way. That kind of just leads me back towards the town. A rabbit. I have a bunny. So I gotta find 10 coins to get a compass. Wait, is that in a tree? The coin? Hmm. How does one get coins in a tree? That is a... I know at some point you can fly, so maybe that's how.
let's continue. Keep trotting along here. Okay, so if we press option here, we can see our coin count. I was wondering about that. Nobody keeps running away from me. Oops. They said it tells me where the silver key is. So I assume I gotta take the gloves back to uh, that individual I was talking to with the house and maybe get his weapon for that. Do a little trade. So what vines are we moving them over again? Ah, these things right here, right? I see. Once I saw one of them moving, it made sense. Sir, I don't know. Nonetheless, I got my stick. Oh, so we can we don't even have to fly, we can just smack the tree to get the coin now. Wonderful. Let's cut down this plant. Okay, so you gotta make sure you come up behind it to do it. Noted. Fair enough, fair enough. This whole dungeon looks really cool. I do like the aesthetic of it. Like how it's very like clean looking too. Like you only see what you need to see and what you need to move around and there's not like too much extra necessary stuff going on. Did I go fast enough? Okay. Gotta run quickly.
Did I go faster way to sprint? something that I'm not doing right. Maybe I still need to get something else. What was it that item... I oh, had yeah, a compass. Maybe the compass benefits me in some way? I don't know. Maybe I have to go back and buy that first. That might not really be the case, but yeah, I'm not sure. Feels like I'm always just shy of making it to the bridge after hitting that. But it's probably for a reason. It's probably something else I'm missing or doing wrong. Okay, so it's just straight up gives me like north, whatever direction. Nothing really beyond that. So unless I really gotta backtrack, it's gotta be solvable. Just shy of it every time. What am I doing wrong here? Yeah, I mean, it's fairly simple control, there's not really much to it. It doesn't really seem to make a difference either if I like hold it longer or not, I don't think. Here I thought that Tomb Raider wants for got to sprint for to get to. Let's do a little backtracking, see if I miss something.
I don't think talking to these guys actually will serve me any benefit in terms of getting the key. I remember there being a boat though that I can take. So it makes me wonder if there's something else I gotta do before I can get that key or get that uh, bridge open there. Alright guys, so I'm gonna end this video here. I think from because I was a little confused, I was trying to look around and like I couldn't figure out how to get across there and everything. After doing a little bit of uh just kind of checking out other videos of playthroughs. Granted they are a little old. One of them had like a bit of a different version of the demo, I guess. And the other one, the guy kinda was in the same situation that I was in and he never seemed to get past a certain point. So I'm not 100% sure if this is kind of where the demo is locked out at right now, or if there's going to be, or if there is more that I just couldn't get to. But either way, I'm, I am looking forward to the full game. I'm looking forward to more. If there's another future demo, whatever the case might be, it does seem interesting. So yeah, if you guys are interested in it, feel free to check it out. Feel free to follow along. I'll put all the links and things into the description. And yeah, thank you for watching.